AI video tools are getting crazy realistic, and I want to tell you about one that you may not have heard about. It's called HeyGen. I just tested it out and I created an AI avatar of myself. I'll walk you through that entire process and I'll show you what my AI avatar looks like. So this is your overview to HeyGen. Let's get started. If you haven't heard about HeyGen, this is one of the coolest AI video tools that I've found in a very long time. Now, you may have heard of other AI video tools. Probably the most well-known is Synthesia, I think that's how you say it. And they've been around for a few years now, but they're just always felt like something was artificial with Synthesia and I never really could latch on to the types of videos that you could produce with it. It just felt kind of fake. Now, I'm sure it's continuing to get better, but when I heard about HeyGen, I was skeptical at first because I think of everything as, oh, it's just gonna be a clone of Synthesia, but I was blown away with what you could do. So let me show you the HeyGen website. It's an AI-powered video creation tool, and what's cool is you can get started for free and you can create a clone of yourself and it'll actually clone the visual imagery of you and it'll clone your voice and then you can just type and it'll literally say whatever you want. It's kind of creepy, but in the spirit of exploring marketing tools, I tested it out for you and I want to show you how it works and how you can set up your own AI video clone. So this is the website. Just to take a look at the pricing real quick, if you do want to get on one of the pricing, uh, one of the paid plans, let me move myself over here. You can see you could start for free. You get one credit, one seat, one instant avatar. And the instant avatar, like the, I believe that's the clone of you. And then you have public avatars, which are like these ready-made avatars of other fake people, basically. Um, and then you can either clone your own voice or you can choose from some of the voices that they have. Then as you upgrade, you get more credits, basically. On some of the plans, you can get more seats for your team, faster video processing, more of these instant avatars. And then if you want more credits, you can see the price goes up from there. If you want to pay monthly, the, the lowest paid monthly plan is $29 a month. But for the purposes that we're going to be using it today, everything that I'm going to show you, you can do for free. So um, you basically, you click Try HeyGen, you sign up, you go through that sign up process, and then once you're logged in, uh, it has a nice smooth onboarding process, which is pretty easy to get through. Let me switch over, because I already set up my account, and I will show you what it looks like in the dashboard. Here we are in the dashboard, you can see I'm on the free plan, and I already created my avatar, but I didn't really like it, because I feel like the lighting wasn't as good as it could be, and so what I just did moments ago, was I recorded a new video. There's me looking like a deer in the headlights. This is a new video of me. And some things to remember when you're recording the video. You, this was done on my iPhone. So I have a tripod with my iPhone with the front facing camera set to 4K resolution. I have the DJI wireless uh, mic, which I recommend. It's a really good microphone to wireless. And then I have some good lighting that I got from Amazon, and then um, make sure you remember these things. Look directly at the camera. When you finish speaking, make sure your mouth is closed. I don't know why they need it like that, but that's what the instructions say uh, on the onboarding steps during your HeyGen sign-up process. And then also, um, you need to record at least two minutes of video of you talking. It doesn't matter what you talk about. So you could just literally just go on and on, just you know, try to make it a little bit different so it's not just you repeating the same phrase over and over, obviously. So you just wanna sort of gesture as you normally would. If you are gonna use hand gestures, try to keep them below your chest. I believe that's what they said in the instructions. And they'll go through all this as you go through the HeyGen onboarding process, but that's just from what I remember. Stare at the camera, make sure your mouth is closed in between sentences, have good lighting, have good audio, and have about two minutes of audio of you talking with high, as high resolution as possible. So I'm gonna show you exactly what that upload process looks like. Since you can revise your instant avatar, I'm gonna click redo. Hey guys. And if I click get started, I prefer video instructions. I'm gonna click next here. And I'm gonna upload footage. And I'm gonna drag this new sample video here. Here you can see these are those um, recommendations that I just shared. Your face is visible at all times. You're looking directly at the camera. There are pauses between sentences. The environment is well lit and quiet. Yes to all of those. My footage looks good. And then you also have to record a consent. And I guess they do this so that you can't 
go clone somebody else who um, you know you want to use someone else's avatar and you upload their video so they want to prove that it's you so they basically get you to, to say something it's a little bit creepy if you are concerned with privacy I recommend not using tools like this but again in the spirit of testing different marketing tools I went ahead and did it who knows if that'll backfire in the future we shall see um, but I already did the the consent video and so I'm just gonna use this one so I'm gonna click submit and then it, uh, it's gonna upload the video and then it's gonna start processing I think the first time I did this it took like maybe 30 minutes or so give or take so it's pretty quick so you'll see it's going to um, email you once it's done so now you can literally just either wait here or go make a cup of coffee come back and see what it looks like so I'll pause the video real quick and I'll come back when it's done and I'll show you how my AI avatar looks a quick note on ethics is it right for these types of tools to even exist if you think about it we go through so much trouble as YouTube creators or content creators or marketers or business owners to create all of this original content. And now you have these tools come along that can pretty much do it in an instant. And it's almost like you can't tell the difference. It's only gonna get better or worse. And I don't know, I'm still on the fence. I'd love to hear what are your thoughts about AI video creation tools and audio tools that can clone your voice. Are these tools something that you would use? Are you completely against them? Where do you see them going? I'd love to get a discussion going in the comments. Let me know. If we get enough comments, I'll even make a follow-up video trying to address some of these questions and trying to find some people to ask about them because I think we're all navigating this whole world of AI together because it's all happening so fast. So let me know what you think about these tools in the comments. It looks like it's ready. It only took about 10 minutes and we're gonna take a look at this together. I have not seen this avatar yet, so we're gonna be checking it out together for the first time. See what it looks like. Hey Nicholas, your instant avatar is ready. Feel free to create videos with it. Also, click the feedback button to share what you think. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> that is crazy. So it's definitely a higher quality than the original one that I made. Um, this is primarily because I had better lighting in this one and I also made sure I was recording at 4K, so that's important. Um, I feel like it's a little more static than the others and I don't know, maybe because of my, my mannerisms, but um, I do like the quality a lot better. Now let me show you what you can do with it. So what you can do is, uh, let's just click through, let's click create video. And what you can do is you can type something here. But I had this already uh, pre-saved just so that I have something to, for the avatar to say. So um, let's go ahead and see what it looks like or what it sounds like. So I loaded in some text here and you can preview the text but it's not going to change the video in the preview mode. You're just going to hear the audio but it should sound like you if you're using your um, the, the clone of your voice. But what you have to do is you have to click submit and then it will process the video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll pause the video and then we'll come back and take a look at the final product. Let's see the final output of the video. Here we go. This is not actually me. It's an AI avatar I created of myself using a tool called HeyGen. It took just a few minutes and the results are, well, you tell me. Do you think this is realistic? Would you ever create an AI avatar of yourself? Or is that just way too creepy? Let me. The real me. Know in the comments. That is creepy. But I think it's pretty good. So yeah, that's gonna do it in terms of the process for creating your own HeyGen. You can then download the video if you want. You can export captions and you can just keep making these videos as long as you have credit. And if you're gonna be using HeyGen, I'll put a link in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you want more videos like this where I cover new tools every single week and other growth marketing tips and strategies, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comments or Anywhere on social media, you can follow Nicholas the Marketer. Thank you. Have a great day.